some of your time. I think I was on mute. Let me start again. Oh, we are all awake now. Okay. So I just wanted to thank you for setting aside some time uh, to find your creative inner child, let that out to play. Uh, too much time in our daily lives, we don't find time for that creative side uh, with the hustle and bustle and work and family. We just kind of lose thought um, or sight of that little one inside. So without further ado, let's dip our brush and get it a little wet. It's a little stiff. It's pretty new. Um, I'm going to get it wet in the water, kind of dab it out. We're going to start with some snowflakes. Um, so like Christine said, you can make them whatever color you want. I'm going to choose to go with the lighter blue. So I'm going to dip my brush in the lighter blue. I'm going to make a basic snowflake outline. And basically that's like the letter X sideways. So we're going to do one line coming across. You can make it as thin or thick as you like. I'm going to do this one pretty thick. And then the other line coming right across to make that X sideways. And then we're going to do one line coming right down the middle. And that's your basic snowflake shape. And you can kind of touch up your lines as you see fit. This is all about your self-expression. So now that we have our basic snowflake shape, you can add other um, shapes to make it interesting. So with this one, I think I'm going to make little lines on the outside of each of these lines, almost like arrows. So each little line in the snowflake is going to get some little lines that go out and an angle up. All around it. And I'm still sticking with my blue color right now. And the lines don't have to be perfect. This is fun. Don't be so hard on yourself as you're making your lines. Mine aren't perfect. Straight lines are hard to do. So don't worry. You, something that you don't like, you can wet your Q-tip while the paint is still wet and just erase that paint right off like it never happened. Some of my little lines, you can just see how I'm erasing it off to make it cleaner if you are OCD, sometimes like me. <laughs> and we have our basic outline of a snowflake there. I'm going to let that bottom layer dry. On that snowflake, I'm going to move down and make another snowflake. Everybody following along okay? Yeah. Not too fast, certainly tell me, and I will slow down. I'm going to take some white. Rinse all my blue off my brush, dab my brush out. I, mean, don't, I want some water, but not too much. And we're going to pick another design for a snowflake. Um, let's do a little different one. It's kind of fun to have different shapes and sizes. I'm just going to draw a little circle on the bottle. And I'm choosing white this time. And this one's going to be a little different. I'm trying to choose shapes that everybody will recognize. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to draw little Ys around the outside. And you'll kind of see how you need to space them. You can judge on your own, um, what looks good to your eye. Just little wise all around that circle we made. There it was. 
come along with another snowflake shape. This one, I think I'm gonna do another Y. This time, a little skinnier. Think of it added little texture. Everybody got like two Y's going around the circle. This is another snowflake shape that you can use. Pretty simple. And to give it a little bit more character, you can just give it some little dots. And don't worry about being perfect. Every snowflake is different. It's not going to be perfect for every anybody. I can't even do perfect snowflakes or shapes. I'm just going to Add a little bit extra little dots in here just to give it a little added interest to the eye. I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to come on in with this little sponge brush that we gave. And I'm going to make just some interesting little circles by dipping the end of the brush, not the foam part, but the end. It's an art, we use all things we can come across. This will give you a little circular pattern if you just dip it in the paint and then press it on your bottle. You wanna twist it around a little bit and make sure that paint is getting on there. And you can do this with any of the colors. I chose the silver just to give some added texture in the background while my paint is drying from the snowflakes. Have anybody have any questions about making the standard snowflake pattern? So I think our first snowflake is kind of dry by now. This acrylic paint, if you put it on thin, it'll dry pretty fast, especially on glass, it's non-porous. And I'm gonna go back in and kind of give this snowflake up here a little life. Um, doing that, I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna go inside the white line and the blue lines that we white just to give it a little bit of an accent right in the middle. And you can see that snowflake come to life a little bit more, a little bit more interesting for the eye to look at. We gave the blue a little bit of a white highlight going around that snowflake. If you wanted to, you can even take your brush right into the silver with some white on it. And you can continue to highlight with the silver and white. Just certain areas you might think need a little silver and white. I want you to get creative with this process can't mess up a snowflake. You see how that blue snowflake, just with that little bit of added white kind of came to life is popping off the bottle a little better. It's gonna look really cool with some lights behind it. We can do the same thing with our white snowflake that we made. You can take any color that we have 
on our palette. I'm gonna go with, in, with some gold. I'm just gonna highlight the white that I have here just to see how that'll look. Art is an experiment. A lot of times when I'm on a canvas, I don't know what I'm gonna do until I do it. And if you like it, great. If you don't, you can always wipe it off or paint over it. It's the best part about art. Nothing's really permanent. So you make it that way. So I have some gold going in over the white. And the white allows the gold to really stand out on the bottle. White is an opaque color on the palette. If I just put this gold on the blue bottle, it would get lost. Um, we can, I can show you how it kind of loses its pop when it doesn't have white underneath. You ladies look like you are in deep concentration. I love it. I love it. I don't hear a lot of talking, so that's great. Please ask, let me know if you have any questions. Hope you're in snowflake mode. Who knows, by painting these snowflakes, maybe some actual snow will come. August the snow days. <laughs> it could happen. I don't know if I want snow days. Snow days, no snow days, no fans. We have to make them up, well, I my, guess. My son is in virtual school, so oh, yeah. yeah. He goes to school regardless. <laughs> All right. So I guess we have a couple more um, spaces for some snowflakes. I'm just going to pick another little simple design. We'll start by doing the X again. And then coming down the middle, just like we did before. This time, let's switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna put circles at the end of the little lines. I'm even gonna add another line in. I'm gonna repeat that same little guy down here. Pretty simple. Maybe make him a little smaller. just to give added texture, what's going on on your bottle. So as we're letting these little guys dry, we'll come back and give them some added detail later. And I was just informed that you guys don't have sponges. So we won't use the sponge anymore. You can use the end of your paintbrush on the other side. And I'll show you. Um, I'll dip it in the white. It's going to take here and you can just dot it up and down for a perfect white little tiny, tiny snowflakes. You can do that randomly around the snowflakes on the bottle. You can do white, you can do gold, silver. When you um, rinse that off, you can just wipe it off on your napkin and select your different color. So yeah, anything that you have around, you wanna try to be creative with, it always works out for art. The simple fact that you tried is succeeding. This is a great stress reliever. <laughs> yes. Like some I'm I'm thinking of that end plan, like when I could just sit and do this all day. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. I'm so happy to hear you say that. So I'm going to go back into our little white friends that we made, little snowflakes here. 
just going to give a little dab of gold just to bring them to life a little bit. I think the other one down here, I'm going to rinse my brush and go on with some silver. Just here and there, just to give it some sparkle. I'm gonna also, let's go for a silver snowflake. So what I'm gonna do is start out with our basic snowflake shape again. And that's the X. And then draw a line through the X, make a star. And then let's see this one. And you can get really creative with your snowflake shapes. Once you get that, the hang of it, the confidence with it. This one I'm gonna make like a little person on the end. Little stick figure guy, we all draw those. Just little arms up, a uh, little head. So we got our arms and this little guy. And ahead. And painting a snowflake is almost like painting a mandala. Um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with mandalas, but it's very um, what's the word? Meditative with repeating shapes. Um, I say when you're painting, your brain reaches wave almost the same, if not identical to meditation. So for those of you that aren't able to sit still and be quiet for 20 minutes, you can also try to pick up a paintbrush, create uh, anytime need to get your mind right. Sure helps me. All right, so we got another little shape over here. And we did that X star shape. You guys are becoming pros at this, I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna do little hearts this time on the outside of the snowflakes, just to show you that there is really not any rules to snowflake. Any shape you can paint is what can go on a snowflake. I don't know if you've ever looked at a snowflake up close. There's so many shapes and sizes. Was anybody interested in doing the leaves? Should we do the leaves or should we just keep going going with the snowflakes? You can even do a snowman if you'd like. I was like, I was interested in leaves. Leaves, okay. Awesome. I'll do a couple more slow fake snowflake patterns. Oh, the tongue is not working. And then we'll move on to leaves. Another one more snowflake, tiny one down here, and then we will move on. And be mindful, ladies, when you are holding your wine bottle, you want to hold the neck of it while you are turning. Don't make the mistake of grabbing that bottle and getting paint all over your hands. I have done that before as well. Everything we do with you all, we try it out first, and then we figure <laughs> out what went wrong. So we can warn you about it later. Yeah, that is just what art is about. Trial, error, and fun. Yeah. 
All right. This little guy down here. It's a little bit thicker. Just adding some shapes onto my lines. You can do any little lines and shapes that you like. I hope by now that you're made a couple, got a couple snowflakes under your belt, you're getting a little creative with how you want to create your own. And don't forget, you can also layer different colors just to make it fun. Give it different designs on top of the colors that you have. I'm gonna try blue and gold this time. It's not quite dry, but I think we'll be okay to get away with it. Okay, well, I think we've manifested enough snow for the whole 20, 21, 22 winter. And let's get some leaf action going on. Well, I'm gonna flip my bottle over to the blank side. And let's get some leaves going. Leaves are fun little shapes. Um, most of them I kind of, when I think of leaves, I think of a lot of tree leaves. So I'll kind of go over some basic tree leaf shapes. So you can draw a leaf. Um, let's start by drawing a small shape. Crooked, but you know, it's art. I love it. And then I want to match that by drawing a frowny face shape right on the other side of it, kind of echoing that same shape. And here we have a leaf. Oh, I'm going to paint this leaf in white. Just by using a thin coat, kind of make it stand out on our blue bottle. And let's see, we have another leaf that we can make. I'm gonna do it white too, because I just like the way to have the white pops on the blue bottle, but certainly help yourself to any of the other colors that we provided. So this leaf, bear with me, because I'm trying to do it from memory. Start out with a little arrow. And then we'll draw another little arrow. And I messed up. Oh my gosh, even the artist messed up. It's okay, don't panic. <laughs> I'm going to erase this a little bit with my handy dandy Q-tip and water. Magic, look at that. The wet end first, flip the dry end, soak all that water and excess paint up. And then we're back in action. Go back in with my white. I'll make this little shape look like a leaf. And as the leaf gets 
uh, towards the bottom, it gets wider and bigger, usually. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I've It's a balloon animal. It's whatever kind of leaf you want to make it, but it's kind of like a, I think it's was it a maple leaf? No, that's that's a different type of leaf. Maybe a anybody help me here. I know some teachers out there. Not sure what leaf this is. I know it I is. A leaf. I'm like I teach social studies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you see the leaf pretty good? It's kind of like a little basic leaf shape. Is it the one that has all those little purple things? Now I'm not explaining right. I think I'm gonna find I'm gonna find pictures. <laughs> <laughs> pictures. Absolutely. Pictures can be helpful when you're creating. Don't ever be afraid to say, I need a picture in order to paint something. Yeah, visuals are good. So the next leaf I'm gonna demonstrate how to do is a bunch of little leaves on the stem. It's kind of cool. So we'll just do little teardrop shapes. Kind of right next to each other. Is it this one? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> that's a good shape I can do that one next and as you're doing the teardrop shapes you want to get them a little tinier each oh. time you make one I think I know what you're doing you're doing this one no. um I can do that one too but that's <laughs> not the one I'm gonna give you oh. all some examples <laughs> <laughs> that you can see all my guesses were wrong. <laughs> and at the top, I'm going to do the top teardrop. And then I'm going to echo this little pattern with more teardrops coming down. Little teardrop here. And as they're coming down, they're getting bigger. And if you guys have any leaf, tree, leaf, plant leaf requests, shout them out. We'll try and figure out which one you're talking about and show you how to do it. And I'm gonna try and draw a line down here. Notice I said try because even I have issues drawing lines. It's kind of connecting all of our little teardrop shapes, bringing them closer to the actual leaf shape. Yeah, it's like a Something like a fern leaf, something like that. I mean, if you wanted to really do a fern leaf, you could do the same thing. That, and then just give your little teardrops some little fingers. Here and there to represent the little fern leafies. For lack of a better term, I don't know the terminology. That sounds cute. Any science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an artist, I'm a biologist, sorry. <laughs> Tutor is needed. And you can turn that leaf into something completely different just by adding a couple little lines here and there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. This is what I thought. Pineapple, yeah, I see little pineapples going all over, up and down. Awesome. <laughs> and you can even do leaves falling the opposite way on your wine bottle here. Just taking up some space. 
organic stuff when you are doing it is very forgiving as far as shape all kinds of different shapes of leaves um, we'll do this one that we have an example of looks like a got this we'll make a little smiley face and then each corner we'll draw that little triangle so it kind of looks like a smiley face there if you can see that and then i'm going to draw a line up from the smiley face I'm going to draw another little line coming down. And I'm going to close that line by making a point. Well, that's kind of looking like a leaf. Let's make it a flower. So now that we have our base colors, or base coat of our leaf, I should say. Hoping that some of it's dry. Now we can come in and add some details and color, just like we did with our snowflake. So usually in leaves, you'll see like the veins of that leaf. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna mix in some white and some green. Kind of give me a lighter version of the green we provided. And I'm gonna come in. I'm going to kind of go right down the middle here, defining the leaf with a line. I'm going to take that same green and go right outside on one side with that same green. I'm rinse my brush. I'm gonna be real brave. I'm gonna dip into some black here. While that green's still wet, I'm just gonna take it ever so tiny little line, barely there, just really light, not all the way down. Kind of given a little hint of it being there. I'm gonna take the same type of line on the outside coming out from the inside of that middle line just like we did on our snowflakes to show the veining of the leaf whatever speaks to you definitely listen is your creation also going to take some black and mix it in with the green to make a darker green almost like an olive just to add another depth of color to our leaf that we have going on here i'm going to also take that same darker color and just come in between the lines I've created with the darker color. This is going to create a shadow on our leaf a little bit. Now we can come in with the lighter color that we first originally used and create some highlights. Right while that paint is wet, we'll allow it to blend right in.
you know, it's kind of hard to see on the lighting that we have, but you kind of have like different variations of your light green and your dark green. You can do the same thing with any color by adding white and black to the color. You can get through two different shades of that same color. So I think I'm going to take and do that same technique with a red that we have. Did you guys get red? Good. Well, if you want to use red, you can certainly use red. I'm going to kind of keep this a Christmas theme. So I'm going to take my red and I'm working on this leaf here. Um, this one I'm just going to highlight with the red. Just on the bottom parts of the leaves. That might bring some interest to the shape here. This is about being creative. Figuring out what looks good to you. Taking your mind off bills, stress, anything that makes you unhappy. And I'm also going to take on the bottom part of this line, just come on down with the red as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to kind of show that this is not a two-dimensional object, but a three-dimensional object. I'm going to show you how to achieve that a little bit more with a different color. We're going to make like a pink by mixing the red and the white together. And I'm going to come in with that lighter color and just highlight next to the darker color, the red. Just add ever so slightly little marks of the lighter color. The red's still wet, so it's blending perfectly. You can even add some of that on the branch if you'd like. If you found that you don't like that combination and you want to do something different, you can paint right over that when it's dry. It'll just be a layer of creativity that you know is there nobody else can see. And to come on in with some gold, just gonna highlight a little bit of this area here. Just to kind of give it a little pizzazz, maybe a little interest, a little glitter area. The possibilities are endless when you sit down and think about nothing but putting some paint on the surface. You can even take the gold and make some squiggly lines on the outside to fill up your space in the background if you'd like. Whatever you feel. I'm gonna write some words. Do some shapes. All right, let's help this little leaf that nobody thought was a leaf up here. <laughs> and this one I'm gonna take, let's see. I'm going to take some blue. Yeah, maybe somewhere in the world there's a blue leaf. I'm going to color him in. I'm not going to color all of them in. Just a couple of the little leaves that we have painted.
And I'm going to experiment here. I'm going to come in with some silver. Make him a little shiny. Kind of can see it on my, net, my end. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. Um, so now I'm going to take and mix some of my light blue with my white just to make it even lighter color. It's just a hue darker than the white we have. And kind of go in here just to kind of give that a little pop. And I think I'm going to outline it in gold just to kind of clean out my edges a little bit. Tie it in with the gold I have going on on this other one. I'm going to outline the shape. So these are all ideas that you can do on your bottle. You don't have to do any of the ideas. You can make your own leaves, your own shapes. There's even a possibility um, doing a tree, tree silhouette, uh, snowmen would look really good on a blue bottle. And then we have one more. Oh, oh, we have two more leaves. Let me go in with the red. Give this little guy some life up here. Yeah, I can actually show he's a leaf. This is not a leaf shape I would typically draw. We'll see how it turns out. To do a snowman. A snowman. All right. They're easy and fun. I like that we're getting into the spirit of creating. So I will certainly do a snowman. Right, so we have those. Got one more little leaf down here that needs some love. And I'm gonna make this leaf gold and black. I'm gonna start out with my gold by drawing the little veins that we commonly see on leaves. I'm going to outline it in gold to kind of go with the pattern that we we're creating with some of the other leaves. A good um, property of design is repetition at any piece. Kind of make it all fit together. I'm going to come in with my black and just kind of make the veins pop out a little bit more in the leaf. some ideas of what you can do, do to create your masterpiece on your bottle. And then you can display these later. All right, so I filled my bottle up, but guess what? You're in luck, I have a whole new bottle. I'm gonna do a snowman. All right, so let's see. Let's first make some ground for a snowman to be on. Down at the bottom here, I'll pick a side where I don't have anything going on. I'm just gonna make a little hill of snow.
just by dragging my paintbrush around, swirling it around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Matter of fact, the more texture you give it, the more realistic it looks. You can see I'm just doing little spirals with my brush. It's kind of fun. All right, so we have some snow here. I'm gonna add another one. This one I'm gonna put on a little thicker. I'm gonna leave that a little thicker at the top. So let's see, you can see like that's in the front more so than the other one. Now our little snowman's gonna form. So everybody knows the top, the bottom, sorry, start at the bottom is the biggest one. So kind of gauge how big you want your snowman um, on your wine bottle. I'm gonna play around with sizing as I'm drawing the circle. If you're anything like me, your circle would probably be like three times bigger by the time you finish it, trying to make the sides perfect. It's okay, circles are tough. So I think I'm okay with this size as my bottom. You can choose whatever size you like. And I'm just gonna try and make it a little thicker and more uniform. If you want to see your brush strokes in your snowman, by all means you can. It's even fun if you wanted to do like a spiral in your you can kind of see that whole details later, kind of fun. All right, so my next one, just a little bit smaller. It's gonna sit on top of the bigger one, just a little bit. I don't know if you could see that, how we made that. We'll fill that one in. Maybe this one will have a zigzag pattern. It's kind of fun little brush strokes for later. And then the top one is head. It's a little smaller than that middle one. And if you want to clean up your circles, you can take your Q-tip, dip in the water, kind of clean up any edges that you don't like. A little brush strokes maybe went awry on you. Okay. So um, we can go ahead with, um, even though it's still wet, we can be real careful and take the opposite end of our brush. So the end of our brush, and we're gonna dip it in the black. And let's see how his eyes turn out. If we just dab them right on there. We get one little eye, two little eyes. And you can play around with the size of the circle that the end of the brush makes. If you want it to be bigger then just do a little circle motion with the end of the brush on the bottle surface. And then his little mouth, the same action. Of course, he's gonna be smiling. We're all happy. And then we're also going to go on the second circle we made and make his buttons. And they are a little bit bigger in size than his eyes and mouth. We usually just go to about that middle area there. You can go all the way down if you like, but I'll usually stop on this middle area. So 
So my so men usually have a hat. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to paint the hat white. So that we have a base for our black to kind of show up. I'm going to start by making the brim of the hat. So a little line across his head. And then a rectangle coming up out of it. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just the base where we're going to put that black hat. Let that dry a little bit, grab some yellow. I think you guys have some yellow because we're going to mix the red and the yellow. Let's make orange for his adorable little carrot nose. So mix in red and yellow. So you're happy with the orange color. Very, very little red is necessary to add to the yellow. If you find you have too much red, just add more yellow. I think I got an okay orange color. I'm gonna come over here and add that to my bottle. Carrots are kind of easy, just a little triangle, a little skinny triangle. I'm going to make it, it go this way. You want to make your nose go a different way. That's fine. Right in between his eyes and his mouth. It's going to live his little nose. I don't know if you can see that pretty good. I hope so. Still waiting for his hat to dry. I want to come in and if I can give him some gold arms, I think that would be cool. This little sticks here. It's kind of like the snowflake shape we did. Just a little stick with a Y. Or like a peace sign, little hand. If you wanted to do something different, you could. These are simple little snowflake hands. Kind of want them in proportion to his body, but whatever looks good to you. While I have the gold, I'm going to take and highlight my outside of my snowman just on one side. I think that might look cool. A little outline. And while we're at it, we'll add some shadow in onto our snowman. So how we shadow white is we use a little bit of blue in with the white, and that can create a shadow for white. So mix a little bit of light blue with the white, and you're just going to come around and anywhere that you think a shadow might fall, like right where this one circle meets the other circle, I'm just going to shadow that in a little bit. Maybe come down this side a little bit and go around the bottom with the blue, just a little bit. Kind of maybe go on the other side where the gold is, just to give it a little bit of depth and added texture. I'm going to do the same thing where his head sits, but a little bit of white under or blue under there bring that around Give that a little bit of added depth and texture definitely where his hat's sitting i'm going to put some of that blue just on the other side 
And if your white's streaky, definitely this is the time to touch up some white. Um, so you may want to just add a second coat of white to your little snowman. While the blue is wet, because then you can blend them seamlessly. You can see how the colors are blending. When you're painting, you always want to put your shadow down first, and then you can go over it with a lighter color. That's the easiest way I've found. Our snowman's starting to take a little bit of 3D shape on our bottle. I'm gonna come in. I'm not gonna go where my little dots are. I'm gonna be careful, just work around them a little bit. Blend my white into my blue because it's still wet and blendable. If you find that you're white is turning into blue, just add some more white right on your brush. Almost done with our snowman. So just some basic easy shapes. And you have a snowman, you have a whole painting. Don't be afraid to paint, guys. You guys teach children. That's brave. Definitely, painting should be a no brainer. How's everybody doing? Anybody need any more detailed instruction? Are you guys working out all right? I like that they're quiet, they're in thought. <laughs> Love it. All right, so my white's dry for this little top hat here. Just gonna fill it in with some black. The white underneath the black made the black pop out a little bit. Still a little wet, so it's giving it a cool texture popping through the black. I'm gonna take a little bit of red and give him a little band on his hat. That's why I go on right here. I come right back in with my black. Oh man, see some of my white is popping through. So I have a fix for that too. There's always a fix for something in art. I'm just gonna take and outline that with gold. Here we go with repetition again. And make everything come together. I think I like the gold. Yeah, oh, come on, it's a little pop to it. It's different. So I'm gonna give the little arms a little bit more substance, adding up a little bit of black outline on top of the gold. So they're not lost in the shuffle. And then to make them look like they're actually coming out of the snowman, just a little, a circle, half circle, I should say. 
right where the arm meets the body. And you can even outline a little bit with black here and there, just to kind of bring your little snowman together. See, these are finishing touches that only the artist would think about. Like, I would, I would just paint him white, put a stick and carrot on his nose, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I see some folks shaking their head, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, possibilities are really endless, guys. Always, always, always just try something. Like, I can even put some silver on top of this black. Make his little hat sparkle a little bit. Still going to appear black. It'll shine a little bit. And if you don't like that, look how easy it is to fix. Wow. And guys, this is why I have Heather, because I would not be able to guide you. <laughs> so here we have a little holiday cheer snowman. And I think if we, do we have any other requests? I have a whole other side. Do I want to see something else? Are we painted out? Ready to retreat to the real world? <laughs> what about like some lettering? Lettering, okay. Lettering is so unforgiving. So let me just start by saying that. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go with some lettering. So I'm going to say let it snow. Yeah. Why not? I'll get to do So lost language here. These days. Yeah. Well, as you see, I got my L going on. And letters are not going to be perfect. You're brave if you attempt letters. Be brave. I'm going to try and do this as best as I can. A little E. I'm down with our T. We have let. Going to come. I'm going to do a little snowflake for our dot on our eye. Let's get creative. Down with our T again. And the possibilities are endless with lettering too. You could do print, you could do really thick lines, you could do really thin lines. Um, so here we go with a cursive S. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I could never write in cursive with pink eyes. So <laughs> I think Ooh. I'm for something with that. I was like, how do I make a cursive S? I would never make a cursive S. I always write the other, the print S, no matter what I'm doing. Or there's a teacher out there that'll tell me that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go with our S. Little, little wonky down here. We don't care though, we're just arting and having fun. It that they're running out of room. <laughs> Run out of room. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. It means you got lost in creating. All right, so we gotta let it snow. Just gonna do a little bit of ad lib around to let it snow. Some quick little starry snowflakes. I take advantage of the other end of my brush to stab it on there. 
Oh, that one did not turn out to be a dot. It's okay. Let me get one. No fear. You have a Q-tip right here. I'll just dab it on some dots. You have a whole bottle creative. I'll tell you something really fun with these bottles. You can get lights. Oh yeah. On. And they're battery operated. You just put it right inside. Be surprised how cool these guys can look with lights on in them. Might inspire you to save your wine bottle and make some art out of it next time. It's also a great excuse to drink wine. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> because you need the bottle, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my story. And I'm thinking an excuse. <laughs> Never need an excuse. <laughs> Another note, Casamigo bottles actually are good bottles for uh, painting too. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of maybe glitter to my, my lettering. Turn up some of those lines. Maybe you got some lines that aren't looking as nice as they'd like to be. Go back, touch them up. Can't really see the silver. Let me come around with some gold. Kind of echo the the letter. Maybe not all the way through it. Just some in certain places. Do it on the side of my I'm going to come down on the inside of the E too, trying to create a shadow inside of my eye. Do the same thing with this T. Me and this line here, I'll get some gold. Inside of that, Maybe inside up here, I want some gold. I'm giving it little details here and there just to make it more interesting to the eye. That's what it's about grabbing somebody's attention with your art, giving a little texture, different colors for them to look at and interpret. All right, so we have our let it snow. We have our snowflakes, our snowman, our leaves. I like it. I can't wait to see these guys. I really can't. That's the only thing about virtual parties. I'm not there with you physically to see amazing stuff you guys are doing, but please, please, please hashtag us in all your posts, You're bragging about your creations. We would love to see them. I don't think we have posts. <laughs> yes, and your kit, um, we gave you a card that has all of our social media information, so you can connect with us, follow us. We'll follow you back, we promise. And we'd love to see like what all creations you all did. It's just great to see the creativity come out in everyone. Did you all have any more requests? Anything else you want to see before we wrap up? Oh, Miss Bruce. Oh, that's gorgeous. I to see. I'm going to turn off the pen so we can see each other. So awesome. Maybe right. we can get a, a group shot. I'm going to hire her next. 
Miss Bruce, are you an art teacher? No, social studies. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully soon future school librarian, but we see. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Anybody else brave enough? You see one bottle. Snowman. I love that snowflake. Yes. Oh, my look at God. that. Oh, snowman. Yes. Oh, oh, my goodness. Everybody did something so beautiful. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Look God. at that. Her letters are better than mine. As an oh. artist, we compare everyone. <laughs> oh sensitive i love all of the creativity oh my god natalia you did a good job on your snowflakes she did a really good job on her snowflakes Thank yes she did know. look at us look at us and, and <laughs> how do you guys feel now like like i accomplished something i did it <laughs> even if it's you know something simple terry i like how you did snowflakes and a snowman yeah, good, good stuff, like, guys. Fucking snowflake land. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys did amazing. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yes. wow, that one was great. Now, when you put some lights in that, oh, it's going to pop. I guarantee it. Yeah, so guys, job, everyone, I have a confession. I'm going to turn my... Like that. So, out of confession, originally I was giving you all lights, and Amazon would not let me be great. So the order was supposed to come yesterday. It has not come. They canceled my order. They suck. But because I promised you all lights, I am still going to send you lights. I'm going to mail everyone lights as soon as they get here so that you can put them in your box. Because it does look better with okay. lights. Okay. <laughs> and I meant to tell you all that at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but okay. yeah. I can't wait. I Love can't it. See a thing. Love it. Are so dirty. I can't wait to see them. You guys have to post them. Miss Lee, you did a good job too. Thank you. Thank you. So ladies, before we go, can I get a group picture? If I can figure out how to turn off. There we go. I want to get a group picture of everybody's um of bottles because these are just gorgeous. I love it. You don't need my mug in the picture though, so I'm gonna turn off my camera. <laughs> All right. So even Heather, you want to hold up yours to the to your artist square so we can see it? Okay. Can you see it? Now I can see it. Okay. On the count of three, I'm gonna take the picture. I'm gonna give you. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, I love it. Oh, well, Miss, okay, I got I gotta do it again. Miss Mabel, you were a little late to your party. I got you. No, no, I want you to be in the picture. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, okay. three. Okay. I'll pull out another 20. Let me make sure that I got the picture really quickly. I'm just going to... Double check because sometimes again things won't let me be great. I got the picture game. Okay, so I have everyone's email address. So I'm just going to send you all one email and I'll include the picture in that. So if you want it, you'll have it. Yay. Thank you. So hopefully, ladies, you enjoyed yourselves. I, you. I, I love doing yes. this. This is so much fun. Much. Loved it. Loved it. Keep going. Yes. So <laughs> You're going to be Don't part stop. of my decorations. Part of yeah. my Christmas decorations. <laughs> awesome. And yeah, you can grab some wine bottles, drink some wine, save the bottle. <laughs> A tip to get the labels off of the bottles, soak it in hot, soapy water. That's and cool. then take like, like a, um, if you have a screwdriver or, or um, like a, a butter knife, then you can scrape off the label. Yeah. And then you can paint and have fun. So Thank those you. brushes, you can rinse them off and reuse them and yeah, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you ladies for joining Thank us. Hopefully you, awesome. you had a good time.
Thanks, guys. Enjoy Have your weekend. weekend. Yes, ladies. Thanks, Take everyone. Care. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.